Walk into my, 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 What's up, everybody? My name is Alex Montgomery, and you are watching my show. This is it. We made it to the end of the semester and the end of this amazing first season of the Alex Montgomery Show. <laughs> for some of us, <laughs> for some of us, this has been a rocky semester, and others, a very smooth one. Now, we have reached the end, so let's finish strong and keep our heads up. One more week to go. Not only has this semester come to an end, but this season of the show has too. I've had a ball with you cousins, but this is only the beginning. But let's put that when I see you again spirit. When I see you. <laughs> let's put that spirit behind us and get straight to the show. So today's show is about to be turned. I mean like lit, I mean like it's about to be the best. See last episode I had my guy Pastor Mike pull up on us and today, Today, I have my little brother, my little brother, my best friend, Double Tate, Deontay Double Tate Jeffers coming to hang with us. We about to spit some bars, and for all the, <laughs> and for all those who don't know what bars are, that's rap, like some rap lyrics. We about to spit some bars. All right, all right, we're gonna catch up and chat about what he has going on. Then we will spit some fire, and then he will spit, spit some fire with his new album, from his new album, from his new album, Insomnia coming out soon. So, go do what you need to do so you can come back and join the party with no interruptions. Because it's always a party on the Alex Montgomery Show. Hey cousins, today's guest is the upcom upcoming artist from Orange Mound, Memphis, Tennessee. Orange Mound! And is a, raise, and is a, and is a rising star. He graduated Merrill's High School as the valedictorian and president of the Honor Society. Let's go! Hey, last year Double Tay released his first album, well not his first album, he released the album, Still Unnoticed, which brought a lot of attention to him and his music with over 20,000 viewers watching the music videos and many streaming it. Currently, Double Tay is a student preparing for graduation at Austin Peay State University, pursuing a degree in sociology. Everyone, welcome my best friend, my little brother, Deontay Double Tay Jeffers to the Alex Montgomery Show. <laughs> Family, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Thank you for having me. Um, yes, sir. I'm really proud of you, this is nice. I have not checked out this, it's nice, it's nice. Dang, bro. Um, I like what you got going on here. Yes, sir. Uh, I always knew you would be in front of the camera. Uh, you did? Yeah. I did yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, you got a personality, man. Bro, I appreciate that, family. Personality. Hey, you know what? I appreciate you being on the show. You know, I, thank, I, you, thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Always, bro. <laughs> always. This, this, this family. I don't like for real, y'all. This, this is nothing but love right here. This is, um, bro. We've known each other, you know each other since sixth grade. Sixth grade, yeah. Since sixth grade, yeah. and we get ready to graduate college soon. Yeah, so y'all do the math on that. That's a long time. <laughs> uh, that's nothing but brotherhood. Uh. Yes, sir. You've been my best friend since sixth, sixth, sixth grade. grade. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, I used to be at your house every day. I every almost, day. I practically lived there. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> like we were, like y'all, we so close. Like we real close friends. As in, like we can literally walk into each other's houses yeah. without knocking and just go straight to the refrigerator. Yep. <laughs> yep. Not disrespectful at all. Not disrespectful at all. Our families love each other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> facts, facts. Our families know each other and everything. You know what I'm saying? So. His, his family is my family. Yes, know? sir. <laughs> we, we family, bro. Facts. Facts. My boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so look. Yes, sir. All right, bro. So we, we, we going to get into all the music and everything like that, bro. Yeah. But look, we, I want to jump into this. 
Now, ever since I known you, bro, you had a nick for music and yeah. for um for for lyricists for all that stuff. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, where did that spark from? Where did it come from? Um, so way back when, um, me and my cousin, uh, the Quan, uh, mm-hmm. Rex Quan, yes, whatever sir. you want to call him, uh-huh. uh, we used to do music and we used to literally like record on like a cell phone and my sister used to come in there and tell us, y'all better get it right this time or I'm going to beat y'all up. <laughs> and it used to be real funny, it used to be real funny, but we used to sit there and we would sit there and we would record on the phone and I'd do my verse and then mm-hmm. he'd do his verse and if we messed up, we had to start it all over. Yeah. And it began, it, it, you know, it kind of became, no, it became like annoying yeah. and you know, we just had to get it right. If we didn't get it right all the way through, we restarted mm-hmm. and start over. Yeah. So that's a lot of trust you got to have in somebody for you to do your verse. And if you get your verse perfect and then they come in and do their verse and mm-hmm. they mess up, you're like, oh, I got to do my verse all the way back over. And I, and I finally oh, so just got it right. Like the phones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just like, it's computer mm-hmm. sitting there and we're playing the beat from the computer uh-huh. and we have the phone sitting on top of the computer. Uh, it's, it used to be just, it used to be crazy. You remember mm-hmm. your first song you recorded? Ah, do I? Yes, I do. I don't want to talk about it, though. That's, <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. I don't want to talk about it. Dang, bro. So look, all right. So you know, so you knew then that's something you want to do. Yeah. You yeah, want to talk about it. I fell in love with it. Yeah, you fell in love with music. I so feel, yep. now becoming an artist, bro, it's not only just coming up with your own music and, you know, writing and stuff like that, bro. It's having a name. Right. Now, look, when I met you, it was Deontay, all right? Yeah. So then getting to know you, it was Tay. Yeah. When you become family, I hear all cousins and everything, Tay, 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 Tay. Yeah, not not it's it's not annoying at all. Um, mm-hmm. so the only people that call me Tay Tay now is you know my yeah. you know my family yeah. and people that know me personally. Mm-hmm. Or you know if I'm you know a girl, mm-hmm. she'll probably call me that to be a, you yeah. know, a little bit different from everybody else. Mm-hmm. But I do prefer to be called Tay. But obviously, Double Tay is Tay Tay. Yeah, obviously it is. You know, I stuck to my my nickname. Yeah, uh, it's just a fancy way of calling it Tay Tay. That is super clever. <laughs> I really like that name. Bro. Yeah, me too. Me too. So <laughs> all right, now you were. You were the valedictorian at Mary Rose High School. Yeah. Shout out to Mary Rose High School. Shout out to Orange Mountain, our community. Yes, yeah. sir. Love Orange Mountain. Well, yes, we yeah. love our community. Yes, sir. Yeah. Give them, like, show them love. Tell them. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. So I grew up in Orange Mountain. That's where I'm from. That's what I am. I, I, I basically bleed orange. It's, uh, <laughs> it's in me. It runs through me. It runs through him. We, yes, we love the community. And, um, mm-hmm. I'm so happy to be from there. It's, um, yeah. You know, if you don't know Orange Mountain is, it's the first um, black community yep, uh, built by African Americans. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, it's such a historic place, yeah. and if you can get the chance to go and just learn some about, some about the history, just please do it because um, you can learn a lot, and it's a lot of great people there. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes the news um, kind of puts like a bad narrative on it, yeah. but it's not it's not it's not it's not what it seems. It's not what it seems. Um, yeah, bad things happen there. It's still a still a hood at the end of the day, but it's a it's a great place. It's a real great place. I'm and glad you said I that. Love bro. I love I love Orange Mound. We love Orange Mound. Right, right. And, and I also call it. myself Mound Baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, my music. now you were valedictorian at Merrill's High School in Orange Mount, Memphis, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have, hey, I was in the top 10 too, bro. Yeah. That right. shocked me. Correct, correct. You remember how, you remember how shocked I was when I, <laughs> when I found Yeah, out. you were pretty surprised. You were pretty surprised about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, for sure. Um, so, um, I knew I had a nick for, you know, I, I had, you know, I looked at things very differently from other people. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, want, I knew I wanted to do something different from what other people wanted to do. And I knew I had to uh, put my head in a book scene and um, be very focused to do those things. Um, even though I always had a love for music, um, I knew that, you know, I gotta have a, you know, you always gotta have a plan B. Right. And um, yeah, a lot of people would be like, why, why would school be your plan B? But that's my plan B, yeah. plan A is I, I really hope, you know, I can get into the music world and, and do my thing. And I'd say I'm doing very good and I mean yeah. that in the most modest way. Um, I love, but I love music and I take, you know, I take, I take my art very seriously. Yeah, so. You were valedictorian, and then you was like the president of the National Honor Society. Yeah. And you, I mean, you had a whole bunch of things coming up. I mean, like science with all this stuff, yeah. all these accolades, uh, coming up in high school and even moving into college. And then, like, you was one of those people that the principal would call on to speak and all this yeah. stuff. So, you, weren't you the class president? Yeah, I was the class president. So, you, had, you was the man. Yeah. So, but with it, uh, you say, I read in Spot, on Spotify, your biography on Spotify, it was like, because you have this, it's hard for people. It, it has been hard for people to take you serious yeah. as an artist. Yeah, yeah. So, why, so that, um, why you feel this? That I feel like um, you know, rap has become this thing where people feel like a certain um, persona um, mm-hmm. has to be has to be the thing that you do yeah. in order to be um, in the rap game. But I don't understand when rap became about a, a certain personality or how hard you are or right. how tough you are. Um, it's an art. Uh, rap is an art at the end of the day, and I think um, if you're good at it, you, su- you should pursue it because yeah. no one can tell you about um, who's who can, who can do certain art. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
You know, I love making the art. Uh, it's very, it's very fun to write it down and watch yeah. how things come together and um, and bring metaphors together. It's just amazing what you can do with your words, and uh, I have fun doing it. Yeah. And wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's what's up, it bro. It helps me get through a lot. Of things. Yes, sir. It did. I mean, I was there with you to see that stuff. Yeah. Also, so you, you came, you had a whole bunch of albums, bro. Like. You had some stuff come out. Uh, I remember the first album, I think it was Phases. When yeah, I had high phases. school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that album came out, everybody was like super excited yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. The mix. No, no, no. You're talking about tape tape. Tape tape was a long yes. time. Yes. And then. <laughs> I'm taking it down now. Nobody can hear it. Yeah. The, so that was the mixtape. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Phases came at high school. Yeah, Phases came uh, when I was a freshman in college when mm -hmm. I was going to UT. Yeah. So, all right. I want to jump into this. Uh, I want to bring it to this question. Uh, so, you, you released an excellent, I mean, a bum album <laughs> last year. Yeah. Uh, Still, I noticed. Yeah. Now, did that spring from people not taking you serious or anything? Like, what? Yeah, where did that nah, come from? It, I guess it kind of uh, sprung from um, uh, the fact that you know I had been doing music for a long time, and I feel like I still didn't get the recognition that I deserved. Yeah. So, um, I feel like that was a good title for a project, and it just kind of aligned with everything that I was doing at the time, and it came together nice. It was just, it just came together so well, and then I had the track listing, and the track yeah. list came up very good, and. I just put it together how I did. It yep. features, features a lot of good people. Yes. What's some people that it's featuring? And it's uh, Orange Mountain people, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, the Orange Mountain person you're talking about is Q Guava. Well, yeah, Orange uh, Mountain yeah. person. Yeah, uh, so Q is, you know, mm -hmm. a very close friend of mine. He's, you know, he's an amazing artist. Uh, uh -huh. But it also features some of my family. I kept my family yes, close to the project. So it features my big brother and my yep. little sister, um, um, the Boreas and uh, Days Our Money. Uh -huh. um, and also uh, features my cousin, Rick yeah. Horn, that I talked about earlier. So. It's, yes, it's, sir. It's and it's really so many songs on that album. You yeah. know, you know my song. Keep yeah. on. Keep on. It's right there. Keep <laughs> on. Keep on. Yeah. All right, that's my bot right there. Look. All right. This is last thing. So you got some coming out soon. Mm -hmm. And so tell us what's the name of this project and what this name come from and what what should we expect from this project? Um. So the project is called Insomnia. Um. Serious. He did the cover art again, just like he did that one. Yes, sir. Um, it's a really good, good cover art. But uh, Insomnia sp sprung from, you know, um, you know, not getting much sleep, which you know, college. College is part of the reason why I would be like that, yeah. but I, um, I always, since I little, I was always a, a, a night person, yeah. and um, I started to figure out that it wasn't just that I was maybe nocturnal, it was, mm -hmm. it, it was really in some year, and I um, started to realize that, yeah. and um, you know, melatonin does work sometimes, yeah. but you know, you don't want to, you don't want to be taking melatonin right. all the time, uh, because it, it doesn't seem healthy, it doesn't make you feel good to be taking melatonin yeah. to go to sleep, but um, yeah, it's, it's some year, when I do get sleep, it's not, it's not for a long time, you know. So yeah. that's where Insomnia sprung from. It's going to be a 12-track album, and it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to this <laughs> album, y'all. Hey, we, we still got so much to do. So, uh, hey, everybody, be on the lookout for Double Taste's upcoming al album, Insomnia. And when we return, we will play Do You Know Them Bars? With Double Taste after this really, really quick break. That'll be fun. Parked far, far away from your class? Well, you could walk the whole way, or you could use the P Pickup. It's a free ride around campus for APSU students, faculty, and staff. You can ride the trolley from 7.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. For more information, go to apsu.edu slash SGA. A campus and community reminder from the Voice of Austin P, Clarksville's 91.9 FM. Welcome back to the show, cousins. <laughs> we are getting ready to play. Do you know them bars? With double tape. Now, for all those who don't know what bars are, the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> the Urban Dictionary defines it as sentences and lyrical hip hop songs or sentences that rhyme with each other. So I'm going to read some bars from rap artists uh, whom Double Tape says he is a fan of to see if he really knows their bars. I'm going to read the lyrics, then give you answer choices. And uh, you will decide which artist bars this is. So, are you ready? Now, before we yes, start sir. this, do, do you have favorite? Who you look up to? Who your favorite artist? Um, J Cole is my favorite artist. J Cole, yes sir. Well, well, Drake is my favorite artist, but J Cole is my favorite rapper. It's a different. Okay. Um, but 
I love both of them a lot. Um, so yeah, those are just two of, of the greats there, the goats. What what's the difference, real quick? What's the difference? Um, so Drake, you know, he you know he's very versatile. He uh -huh. does what he does, and, and he he dabbles in singing, he dabbles in rapping. Uh -huh. Um, and J Cole, you know, he's I just feel like he's very good at the art of rapping. Yeah. And I just admire that. Yes, sir. I'm with it. You know J Cole, my favorite. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> all right, let's get to jump into it. So I got some I got some some lyrics right here. You okay. tell me some bars right here. You tell me what this is. All right, I got one. Here go the first one. All right, I don't get no paper. I got a sign at the bottom. Still in my bed like the fries at the bottom. And I can't do nothing right. They gonna always be mad at me. I miss the Cranes interview. They try leaking my attic. I donate to the schools next. They call me a deadbeat daddy. So is this either Chance the Rapper, Gucci Mane, or the baby? Um, Chance the Rapper. So yeah, that's that that that's that's definitely Chance. Yes, so sir. Gucci, Gucci Mane or the baby, I don't think they I don't <laughs> think that's anything they would say. So <laughs> it has to be chance. That's definitely chance. All right, all right, all right. We will we're gonna bring we're gonna bring another one. All right. Um, okay, blessings on blessings on blessings. Look at my life, man. There's lessons on lessons on lessons. That's catchy. Yeah. I treat the beat like it's irreverent. I tell the truth like, Father, forgive me. These are all, these are all my confessions. Mm. Man. <laughs> man, this wasn't luck. It was destiny. I done lost homies who been with me since Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I love this show. Who flipped like confetti. And then when you back, they call... They, they beg to call you dog. Hey, I, my reading is. <laughs> <laughs> I get it's nervous fine. every time I read in front of people. It's fine, but I definitely know that's Big Sean. Uh, I, ain't, I didn't even have to give I, you no answer to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know that's Big Sean because I was, I was a big fan of that song when it came out. Blessings, uh -huh. great song. And that's that's it a was song. Iconic. Too. All right, let me, let, me throw, let me throw something at you, bro. Let me, <laughs> let me see if you get this, bro. Okay, if you okay. get this, then you might know something. Okay, okay. Only in Cali where we ride, not rally, to live and die. In LA, we wearing chucks, not ballets. Yeah, that's right. Dressed in locks and khaki suits, and ride is what we do. Flossing, but have caution. We collide with other crews. This, this, I'm just reading this, and it sounds good. All right, famous because we program worldwide. Let them recognize from Long Beach to Rose Cranes. I don't know this song, so I don't, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Bumping and grinding like a slow jam. It's West Side, so you know the road. Won't bow down to no man. Say what you say, but give me that bomb beat from Dre. Who you think that is? It's either N.W.A., Snoop Dogg. Or Tupac Shakur. Who do you think that is? I think that is Tupac. Is it? Ding 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 ding. It's correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right. All right. This one. All right. This is my favorite, bro. Okay, okay. I think okay. this is this okay, one okay. my favorite. All right. Here we go. She got a light skinned friend. Look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> she got a dark skinned friend. Look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> they said light skin like Michael Jackson. Dark skin. You yeah, get that, bro? That's, yeah, that's, he was definitely both of them. <laughs> so funny, his, his that's life. funny to me. He was definitely both of them. All right, who do you think that is? That's either uh, Kanye West, Nas, or Lil Yachty. That is one of my favorite Kanye West songs. <laughs> <laughs> Slow jam. All right, all right. We, I think, do we got time for one more? We got time for one more? Let's do one more. All right, let's see. I'm up first. I'm on tour. Got a girl. She's from the South. Used to work. Used to dance in Texas. Now she cleaned the house. Every day I was struggling to learn what life was about. On my way, money taught me Spanish, making underlay way up north, packed in Honda cars. They know who we are. Is that uh, Jay Z, Drake, or Lil Durk? That is definitely Drake. That is one of your favorite songs. <laughs> That's probably your anthem. <laughs> That's probably your anthem. Every you morning, bro, I'm bumping that song. I love that song. Oh, I love absolutely. That is legend. my favorite song. That's absolutely legend. All right, I think we got time for just what two more. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm doing, okay, I can't breathe, I'm waiting for exhale, toss my pain with my wishes in the wishing well. Still no luck, but oh well. I still try even though I know I'm gonna fail. It's stress on my shoulders like an envy, a perky, got me itching like an inhale. Is that Cordae Lil Yadio Juice World? That is the late great Jared Juice World. Yes sir, <laughs> that's it. All right, this is the last one, this is, this is the last one, all right? Uh, we each have a star, all we have to do is find it. Once you do, everyone who sees it, sees it will be blinded. That's the last one. Oh, I don't get answers for that? No, no, no. Okay, I guess oh. I can. Okay. I know who it is, though. You don't have you to. You do? Who is yeah, it? Yeah, it's DMX. Yes, sir! That's, that's it! DMX. That's, that's it! That's great it! great DMX. Uh, love DMX. Hey, RIP. Long live DMX. DMX. Yes, sir. Long live DMX. <laughs> so, here we go. All right. Hey, everyone. Be on the lookout for this new project from Double Tate Insomnia. I know it's about to be a hit, bro. I know this is about to be some really good stuff. Yeah. And don't go anywhere. Double Tate will be performing Do It Again right after this quick commercial break.
We are more than just athletes. We inspire scholars. We inspire leaders. We inspire champions. We inspire family. This is the Ohio Valley Conference. I've been through dark clouds and storms down, it pours down, it rains down on me. I just can't do it again, I wanna do it again. I just can't do it again, I can't. And every time I go through hard times, my heart cries, it's hard inside, it's chaos in my body. I just can't do it again, I wanna I just can't do it again, I can't. I've been through dark clouds and storms down, it pours down, it rains down on me. I just can't do it again, I wanna. I just can't do it again, I can't. And every time I go through hard times, my heart cries, it's more inside, it's chaos in my body. I just can't do it again, I wanna. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, my drops and busting off the meter, and I've been banning his feel like the rap gang Derek Jeter. And that's to make a lot of people hot, I need a heater or a rocket in my pocket. I swear to God, it's getting deeper, I swear it's getting deep. And people want to drop on double tape, won't hear a peep. If they ever do, that mean I slipped for somebody leaked. And I don't need a girl to be told I need some sleep. I don't get the love I get, that's why I gotta play for keeps. Yeah, my own baby making hits like the guy can't miss. And trying to diss my get them cooked like some grits. And I got these people high, make this song cry like this. I move in silence just to snakes hiss. In the city again, worship painted purple on some tie-dye stuff. They don't talk, they bring the foul, bruh. And they'll look you in the eye and tell you why about how they messing with you. Like what the word you gotta lie about, bruh. Hey, and they been sending slick shots on some drive-by stuff. Hey, why they quiet when I drive by, bruh? And after that, these people still can't get a high five, bruh. Cause these other brothers actors on some sci-fi stuff. I swear to God it's getting lethal. A lot of people didn't believe, made a believer. And I've been Chasing Frankens, but I ain't talking to Rita. Scratch a scrub, show no love. My foot on them like a beetle. Foot on them like a beetle, man. Baby, Shop double tank. Uh, 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 I, I just can't do it again. I wanna. I just can't do it again. I can't. And every time I go through hard times, my heart cries. It's all inside. It's chaos in my body. I just can't do it again. I wanna. Yeah. I just can't do it again. I can't. I've been through dark clouds and storms down, it pours down, it rains down on me. I just can't do it again, I wanna. Uh -uh. I just can't do it again, I can't. And every time I go through hard times, my heart cries, it's more inside the chaos in my body. Uh, I just can't do it again, I wanna. Nah, I just can't do it again, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just can't do it again. Uh -uh. Hey, friends. Thank you for tuning in to today's show. My hope is that you walk away from this season, this season of the show, with love, laughter, knowledge, and encouragement. I never saw myself doing this. And, I, and it, it, stretched me, it stretched me as a leader. It stretched my leadership, my creativity, my people skills, and desires to have and apply knowledge into my life. Thank you to all who put this together. Thanks to this amazing crew. Hey, y'all bum. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for all of y'all. Thank you to the professors, my friends, my family, everyone who has been so encouraging when I'm, you know, just doing this. Also, a big thanks to the amazing guests I had on this show, Harold Wallace III, Emma Lee, Pastor Mike Burnett, Pastor Eric Kangas, and my best friend, Double Tate. Yes, sir. And most of all, thank you, the viewers who have consistently tuned in to watch this show. See y'all next time. And don't forget to love, love. And everyone, have a blessed day, blessed week, blessed life. Now, here's Double Tape Performance showing up off his upcoming album, Insomnia. Peace. Uh, I close my eyes, they keep on showing up. 
Not a gangster, but we'll die by what I'm throwing up. In my circle like a dollar, it's like four of us. Push to start the whip, ain't gotta crank that shot out, soldier boy. My big brother in the city know we pouring up. And I ain't signed cause I refuse to take a lower cut. Saw my cousin dead on Facebook Live with a bullet in his head. Don't ever question me about why I keep a blower tuck. That show me right there, you don't know when it's your last day. That show me right there, you don't know when it's your last bro. That show me right there, you can't take none of this stuff with you. Cause the legacy is all my uncle had left. I seen the greatest hearted people in the wrong place. I put it on the Bible that they didn't deserve a sad death. I walked the field with my brother when I last seen him. I wish I knew that them was some of my bro last steps. See, folks get snaked out by their mess for getting comfortable. So Earth was one lowest, how I like my grass kept. Come up, uh, you ain't never heard that, people. So you be dealing with the cars that you hand dealt. I wish that I could take this stuff back. Yes, I want my dick back. My people in the grave, and I just cannot forget that they keep telling me to chill. My thoughts won't let me sit back and talk and don't solve nothing, so we just gotta scratch the chit chat. Hey, uh, 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 yeah. I close my eye, they keep on showing up. I close my eye, my people showing up. I close my eye, my uncle showing up. I close my eyes, my cousin showing up. I close my eyes, my brother showing up. I close my eyes, they keep on showing up. I close my eyes, my people showing up. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You say, yeah, 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 yeah. I close my eyes, they keep on showing up. I close my eyes, my cousin showing up. I close my eyes, my uncle showing up. I close my eyes, my brother showing up. I close my eyes, they keep on showing up. I close my eyes, my people showing up. I close my eyes, they keep on showing up. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say yeah, 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 you say, uh, uh, when I say yeah, 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 you say yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I just want to thank y'all for having me today, uh, when I wrote this song, I was in a, I was in a very dark place, so if you're in a very dark place right now, I just want to let you know that it get better, and when you don't feel like nobody here with you, just know Double Tay here with you. And when you don't feel like nobody else is proud of you, just know Double Tay is proud of you. And some you on the way. I go by the name of Double Tay, and nothing makes me happier than being up here on the stage for you guys. Peace, love, and happiness. Signing out. Everybody, welcome to my show. 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 Everybody